Hey everybody, is trend following dead? Well, so for those who may not know what trend following is, trend following is a popular trading strategy that was really popular back in the 1980s. And it basically, the way you do trend following, it, you know, it's a little more complex than what I'm about to say, but the gist of it is you buy stocks that are rising and you sell stocks that are falling and you short stocks that are falling, you know, below their trading channel or um, below a certain point. And you just follow the trend. And when the trend changes, then you get out of the trade. See, it's a very simple uh, strategy. And this strategy has, you know, it's usually based on technical indicators like the moving average and the trading channels. And uh, trend following as a trading strategy has been around forever, but it was really popularized by uh, Richard Dennis, who created a group of people known as the Turtle Traders. And the Turtle Traders uh, were basically recruited from a newspaper ad. So they were, they, these people were not professional traders. They, some of them worked in finance, some were accountants, others were from other walks of life. But Richard Dennis believed that he could take anybody off the street if they had uh, certain, certain behavior traits and turn them into great traders. And he did. Most of the Turtle Traders became very, very successful. In fact, one of them was a Jerry Parker who started Chesapeake Capital, which was one of the biggest trend following um, hedge funds out there. However, in recent years, trend following has not outperformed the S&P 500. Um, one of the reasons why is the markets have become a lot more efficient. And the thing about trend following that made it really successful in the early 80s is that, is that a trend following trader can look at something like copper where there's not a lot of trading action and take advantage of, of this trend because the market was very inefficient. Now, the fact that everybody has computers, every professional trader has these same trading tools, they can all use trend following. Now you have computer automated trades that will just be essentially trend following bots. They find all the inefficiencies in every market, and they can just do the trend following. And even Jerry Parker, in one of his, uh, he did an interview with Michael Covell, who's like the trend following guru. He said, "Yeah, it's getting a lot harder to find these trend following opportunities." Um, in fact, Chesapeake Capital has a mutual fund, the symbols EQCHX, and that has actually been underperforming the S&P 500 for a while. And, you know, the problem is that for trend following, it's, it's hard to gain that edge. It's hard to find that market. Now, maybe you can find trend following um, uh, opportunities in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or whatever, because th th there's probably not a lot of people trading those or uh, lesser known coins. Uh, but like I said, trend following is, a, it, you know, it may not be dead, but it's not the easy opportunity that it was 20 or 30 years ago. So if you do want to try trend following, I would say just use um, use very simple indicators like the 50-day moving average. Um, I would avoid going short. I would just use trend following as a way to buy or go long into stocks because shorting is just it's a lot harder than going long. But you could do something as simple as if the S&P 500 is above its 50-day moving average, just stay long. And if it falls below its 50-day moving average, then go into cash. So I hope this um, video on uh, is trend following dead helped you if it did please be sure to um, like share and subscribe okay thank you very much bye